Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate these progressive suspension 430 series shocks. What's up, Speedx fam? Before we jump in and tell you all about the 430 series from Progressive Suspension, do us both a favor, subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. Go ahead, I'll wait. It only takes a second, that way you're up to date. You're educated, you're smarter than when we started this video, and you don't have to worry about missing our newest releases. We're trying to give you that first look and help you make educated buying decisions. We appreciate your support. Also, if you would like to help out around here at speedx.com, you can do so by simply shopping with us. There's gonna be a link in the description below. They'll get you over to the complete selection of progressive suspension, including these beautiful 430s. While you're over there, buy a set of tires, brakes, new helmet, whatever you need for your next two wheel adventure. We got it here at speedaddicts.com. So progressive suspension, the leader in V twin suspension. Now it could be Harley Davidson, also some, you know, metric models, and they actually make uh, a few shocks for ATVs, a few other applications, but really their bread and butter at progressive is going to be Harley Davidson. And this 430 is a popular choice. It's very good looking shock from Progressive. They are US owned and operated. The shocks are built here in California. Their headquarters isn't far from us here at Speed Addicts. And we've been selling Progressive for about two decades now. They make great, great stuff. And it's some of the best money you can throw at your machine. So if you're watching this video, your OEM shocks are probably not very good or they're worn out and you're looking to step it up. And if you're going to replace your shocks, Progressive is a good option. Now, Progressive makes a lot of different models when it comes to the rear suspension from the 412s all the way up to like the $1,400 piggyback shocks. These are somewhere in the middle. Now, most people are going to be stuck between a 430 or if they don't want piggyback, right? They're gonna be looking at the 430 series from Progressive, maybe the triple fours, those are also popular. I have them under the desk. I'm gonna explain those as well while we're here. Um, the entry levels are the 412s, which are great uh, for the money, but the 430s and the triple fours are the higher end options, and they're going to give you a few things you don't get with those less expensive 412 shocks from Progressive. So in this video, we're gonna focus on the 430s and maybe compare them uh, for a second to the triple fours, because if you're looking to spend somewhere between that five and $800 range, you're gonna be comparing the 430s and uh, most often those triple fours. Now, the 430s are less expensive compared to the triple fours. Uh, coming in at around, they start in the high five. So 574 is where they start and it kind of depends on your actual vehicle application where the price might land. It's, they end kind of um, in the mid sixes, okay? And in terms of getting a good deal on progressive, Speed Addicts is definitely the place to go. Uh, now, these shocks are really, really good looking. The aesthetic is one of the reason people pick the 430s over the, the triple fours because the black actually has these reliefs. So you can get that two tone with both the relief in the billet and the gloss black, or you can go with the full chrome option. They are hand adjustable preload. So if you have a passenger getting on or off the bike, or one day you have a bunch of luggage, one day you don't. You don't need a spanner to adjust the preload. You're just gonna crank this, the top on it, and you are gonna crank down the preload or crank it back up. The available lengths in the 430, they come in 11 through 13. What lengths are in, in they, they end up in uh, half inch increments in between there. So it's going to depend on what you're trying to do. Do you want to maintain your stock ride height? Well, then order the same size that you already have on the machine. If you wanna drop it or bring it up, you're welcome to do so, but keep in mind when you are ordering a shorter shock, you are losing travel and it's going to result in a harder ride no matter how you cut it. In fact, I, if you are going to try to lower the machine, they also uh, have the 944s, which is a good option, a little bit more money, but they maintain the travel while dropping the bike an inch. So if you're looking to lower, consider that. But uh, when it comes to what's right for your vehicle over at Speed Addicts, we do have a vehicle application checker so you can find out what fits your bike. But because there are so many options in terms of the length, the finishes, and the spring rate, if you're not positive, we recommend checking with our rider support team before you make the purchase. They're available over the phone, email, or live chat. Get real human advice before you pick 
what's right for you. They're available in the 430s for uh, your baggers, your tours, Dyna, Sportster, and V-Rod. So they kind of cover the gamut uh, when it comes to the Harley-Davidson models. This is a high-pressure nitrogen monotube shock or damper, not dampener, you notice, damper, okay? And what that means is that it does have nitrogen gas in it, and it's a monotube as opposed to the old-school uh, twin-tube design when it comes to the actual cylinder that results in a bigger piston and less heat because what a damper is doing is basically generating that up and down motion into heat dissipating the heat through the fluid and the shock body so a bigger piston means more volume and a better heat dissipation so pretty much everything that uh, progressive makes these days is going to be that monotube construction as opposed to the 412 which has more of a traditional shock valving system. This has the progressive deflective disc dampening, damping, and uh, it produces a consistent feel, channeling oil through two different circuits. And so it is a very nice ride. It's not quite as good though as the 444. So the 444 has their FST technology, which is a little step up. The 444 is gonna cost you an extra 200 bucks though. So that smooths out some of those smaller bumps and road noise, the FST technology on the 444s, but again, you gotta be willing to spend an extra around 200 bucks uh, depending on your vehicle. So middle ground in terms of actual ride and performance in the 430s in that progressive lineup. The springs can be progressively wound. It depends on the Model Bs. You can notice the spacing between the coils is pretty even. Some of the applications are progressively wound, which means some of them will be closer uh, than others and what that does is it allows the shock to be softer on the top of the compression and then stiffen up as you get into a deeper compression that's going to give you the plush ride on top and then as you push the machine in corners or different situations for performance it's going to give you a stiffer feel and that's where the progressive name comes from see what i did there pretty cool okay <clears throat> you can mount these in either an uh, upside down or right side up. So universal mounting on the 430s, which is cool. So you have that sort of flexibility. I'm gonna get out the triple fours real quick, <clears throat> which are uh, just a touch lighter, if that matters to you. Um, but you notice the triple fours come in either this kind of matte gloss black configuration or a full chrome. You don't get anything like this black with the chrome accents on it like the 430s. So a lot of people that go with the 430s are going with them for this look. It's kind of that V-rod or street rod look. And so that is that. Again, about $200 more for these. And the main difference, they're both hand adjustable preload and lifetime warranty, but the main difference is it has a more sophisticated valving system, that FST technology from Progressive that's gonna result in just a slightly quieter and smoother ride uh, for the small bumps. And the lifetime warranty is a nice thing. Progressive is gonna back these up, they ever leak which is kind of the main thing that happens with any sort of shocks in terms of warranty service. They are gonna stand behind them, they're gonna replace them or, uh, or fix them for you. In terms of insulation, when it comes to shocks like this, it's pretty straightforward. If you have a lift that's meant to uh, take care or support a machine of the weight you're gonna install these shocks on, then you're dialed in. Don't push the limits. Harleys are quite heavy. If your lift's not up to it, uh, you could run into trouble. But if you have the right sort of lift, and you've got a socket wrench, you're ready to install a set of progressive suspension and just follow the instructions from the manufacturer to a T to make sure you don't run into any trouble. You're gonna notice inside the package, you are going to get no preload spanner because you don't need it, but you are going to get the hardware uh, necessary for that install. So everything you need to get rolling is going to be in here. Now, when you buy shocks from Speed Addicts, remember, you can't test ride them. So it's best to talk to our team if you're not sure about the spring rate the length uh, or any sort of vehicle application because it's not a test ride situation once they go on your machine you install them you ride them if you're not happy with the ride you can't return them so it's important to get educated before you just start buying now when it comes to the spring rate there are options for most different applications of either a standard spring rate or a heavy duty spring rate in these 430s the heavy duty spring rate is recommended for riders that are over 250 pounds or if you're less than that, but riding a passenger the majority of the time or carrying a bunch of luggage. Otherwise, don't touch those, uh, the heavy duty spring rate 
because it's going to be a very stiff ride if you're under 250 or even if you're borderline you know if you're 255 after dinner like don't buy the heavy duty spring rates i think the in my experience they tend to result in a, a ride that is too stiff you're just gonna have to rely on some preload adjustment now if you're riding with a passenger a lot then the heavy duty spring rate is going to pay dividends how do you know which is heavy duty and which is not when you're looking at these skews at speed addicts you have to pay attention to the spring rate because we can't label um, a particular part number as heavy duty because it depends on what vehicle they're going on so if you see two 12 inch shocks that fit your flhr um, in black you're gonna have to check the spring rate we have it listed there and the one with the higher spring rate more pounds per inch to compress the spring is going to be that heavy duty version and the one that has a lower spring rate number will be the standard version and again our team's here to help suspension uh, requires a little bit of know-how here when you're picking the right uh, application or length so talk to our team again a lifetime warranty from progressive and that does it for the 430 series again available in chrome or this black with the contrast uh, the black and chrome finish not for all applications some you'll notice will only have chrome so it kind of depends on what bike but most of the bikes have the dual coverage these are going to again run you around 600 dollars available now at speed addicts at the absolute best prices full lifetime warranty because we of course are an authorized dealer and that does it that's all i got for you we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate